Hello everybody and welcome to a midweek video. I have had actually quite a few friends asking me about Pilates and since I've been doing it for a month now I feel like I've got some of the things in mind that would be helpful to anybody who's starting out to it and new to it like I am. I'm still very new to it. I've just been taking two classes a week throughout the month of May. I've stuck with it. I feel really proud of myself. I just feel like this could answer some questions to anybody who's new to exercise routines in general. Maybe you're active, but you don't really have a particular exercise routine that you're doing. So if you're new to Pilates and you're new to any sort of workout class, I'm your girl, this is your video. Let's get into it. Let's just talk about what a reformer is. It's this machine that's laid out like a bed and there's a seat on it or a pad on it and the pad moves back and forth you're sitting on that and using your own weight as a resistance to the exercises that you're doing whether you're using your arms or your legs and there's all different ways of doing it there's straps that you hold you can put your foot in the strap and moving your legs around back and forth you are using your own weight to work yourself out i think that is just so cool i love this concept i thought it was neat it also has a lot of stretching involved, a lot of long stretched movements with your legs and your arms. There's a lot of upper body. It just feels so good. I feel like when Morticia Adams was on that stretching machine, I get it now. She was like, more or something like that. Tighter. You've done this before. I totally feel that. I'm like, please just keep stretching my body out. Like pull me on all sides. <laughs> it feels so good to stretch your, your muscles and your body. And especially if you were somebody who was ever in dance, in dance classes, you would warm up and you would do all these stretches before you would begin the class. And I used to be able to do the splits and I can't do that anymore. I can't even imagine. So I want to get back to that body. I want to get back to the, the muscle memory that I had that was a lot healthier and get my core strengthened too. I think a strong core kind of helps you with your alignment. It helps you use your body in different ways just in your day-to-day -day life. I'm noticing when I'm emptying the dishwasher now, I'm like reaching differently. <laughs> I felt like I was lazy. I would do things in ways that didn't make me feel uncomfortable. When I'd pick something up, I would do it in a lazy way. Now I feel like I'm doing it from strength instead of from this lazy way. And so it's just really helping me build up all of that stuff that needed to be awoken in me that were muscles that were just sitting there dormant. And this is just the, the thing that I'm discovering just in a month. Imagine how I'm gonna feel six months from now when I keep up with it. It's just different whichever studio you go to. So if you need to try a couple, I am just like, I did it. I got it. I found the class. It's working for me. I'm not going to change it. I like my teacher. I specifically chose this teacher because she did the beginner class, but now I've like gone on the website and learned a little bit more about her and she likes to garden. I like that. So I just feel like she's like kind of my people, my kind of person. So I just appreciate her. I like the way she teaches the class. It's not too bossy. Let's try it again. That means get up, you lazy little bitches. Get up. She does a little bit of like positive affirmations. She'll come over and correct your form if she needs to. Really overall, just good vibes. So I just like her a lot and that helps. It's hard and it's challenging, but you can go at your own pace. So just take it as slow as you need to if you're feeling overexerted. There's a few people in the class that I've noticed that have had to stop for a second and just kind of catch their breath. And if you do that, your teacher will see that you're taking a break. I've not had a teacher that's like pushed us through that, that are like, keep going. Oh and I wouldn't be able to do a class if that was the mentality of the teacher is like, you know, stop pausing, stop taking breaks. I'd be like, screw you. I'm gonna die. <laughs> like, don't tell me what feels right for my body, but you know, try to do the exercises and I genuinely do all of them because I'm trying. So I might have to just slow down for a second. And it's not a noticeable thing in Pilates when you have to slow down because it's slow controlled movements anyway. So if you're going slower, it looks like you're just really trying to get the movement down. So just take it, take it slow, do it at your pace. Make sure you're breathing. It's like yoga to an extent where you're gonna wanna 
you know, breathe in through your nose and out and she'll help guide your breath through the exercises in when you're coming back and out when you're going, whatever, you know, like she helps guide that. You use different things on the machine. The machine has straps on the side, strap for us. I've seen they look different. Straps on the sides and then there's straps towards the back for doing like different, I think those are more for upper body or maybe when you stand. So far we, in the beginner class don't stand on the machine and I do know that the next class up does. I don't feel strong enough at my core to be able to do standing exercises yet. I'm curious so maybe I'll watch some videos and just see what that involves but I'm not ready to level up yet. I'm gonna stay in the beginner for a little while until I feel like really like I'm, I've got this and then there'll be the day that I go to the I'm gonna be scared but <laughs> um, but it'll be fine. So you definitely want to wear the same thing you would wear to a yoga class in the sense that you want to wear tight fitting pants, a tight fitting top, pull your hair back, get it out of your way or braid it. I usually have it in like two braids because I have an extensions and they're really, really long because I've refused to cut them yet. I'm going to though. So I pull these up into braids or in like a back braid, just something just to get it out of your way. Uh, and then you want to wear socks. So you want to have some grip socks. Now I started out, this is, this is the type of sock I've been wearing and this is what I bought when I started that pure bar class. These are not ideal, if, but if that's what you have to just try a class, don't spend a bunch of money on, you know, some new stuff for this if you don't think you're going to stick with it. But yeah, these I felt like keep falling off because you do put your foot into a strap and they'll just come undone and just, they're annoying. So I started to look around the room and realize that like everybody had on crew socks with grip. So I just bought some and they just came this morning and look at how they came packaged. This is socks. <laughs> look, how, look how flat they've vacuum sealed these. This is socks. When I first saw the package, I thought, what did I order that's because I didn't see it. It was just like in the Amazon package. I was like, what is in here? I didn't order any paper. I thought it was paper or a card, but I want to try them first. So I just, I spent like, you know, six bucks on a pack of three. And if I like the, the crew sock style grip, then I'm going to get a bunch in different colors. Cause I'll tell you wearing cute outfits is a motivator. And if you're somebody who likes outfits and clothes and just feeling cute, whatever you're doing, whether it's exercise, gardening, riding a bike, going to the gym, whatever. I think looking cute is a huge part of motivating me to do these things. And so I started to pre-thrift for gym clothes. I just did a video, was it? Yeah, it was last week's vlog that you guys would have seen where I did a gym wear haul because I'm just really into stocking up on gym clothes. I All I have is leggings and I know that I'm gonna wanna wear summer shorts to Pilates instead. So now I'm looking for yoga shorts. Yeah, I am um, gonna open these now on camera because I think it's gonna be funny to watch the air go. <laughs> Here it goes. Ah! Okay, that was not as eventful. They're still really, really flat. I thought I was gonna like balloon out. Totally, womp womp. Look at that. So now we have some new grip socks on the bottom. They're, they look so Aquaman, don't they? Like, <laughs> they look like little marine life socks. I've got brown, black, and gray now, the basics. You can never go wrong. And I definitely want to possibly like a white pair, but I'm excited. I'm going to try them on right now. Actually, I want to try on the gray ones and see how these will fit. I just feel like, I just feel like these will really help with um, staying up on my foot and that's gonna be great. That is something you'll wanna do. So don't get the ones that are like ballet flat style because you're moving around on that machine too much and they just don't stay up on your foot. When you first start, you're in a class with beginners as well. So everybody is right where you are. I was just picturing these like slender size zero aliens just walking around telling you what to do in Pilates. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> I don't want to go. So it's not like that. And then also people in your class are from all different ages and all different sizes. I was really relieved to see that a lot of people in the class were kind of in the same boat as me. There's 
just this good mental health, a lot of really good mental health stuff from it. You just are really clear headed after. The first class I walked out, I was like, whoa, like I felt the endorphins. And I also just felt so accomplished and proud of myself just for going. Also because I do have like, you know, a pre-existing agoraphobia condition that is even more challenging for me to go do something. Doesn't make my challenge any harder than anyone else's. If you're new to the idea of going to uh, any sort of exercise class and you're thinking I'm gonna suck at this or I'm it's gonna hurt or I'm gonna look stupid like just don't worry about that so let's just talk about the agoraphobia real quick and the uh, anxiety part of it because if you guys are here for that and you want to know this will be helpful I had to have an out now if you're somebody who has that kind of agoraphobic tendency where you need to be able to escape if you need to be able to get out of a space if you can't you start to feel boxed in and it creates this feeling in your chest and so if you can't have that out then a panic attack could happen and then you're worried about embarrassing yourself or scaring people or going through that it's it sucks and it is embarrassing to have to have a panic attack in front of people it's horrible so to have an out the best thing is when you first start the class she's going to come around and if you're new she's going to say do you have any pre-existing conditions or any issues like with like injuries in the past and so that's when i had that moment to say i have this medical thing where i get dizzy sometimes and if i start to feel it coming on i'll have to step outside and she's like no problem and that's all i had to say i didn't have to say i'm an agoraphobic because i just got sober and i'm going through this huge life huge life change thing and i'm in emdr therapy to try to fix myself for it <gasps> but i'm here <laughs> like, i didn't have to spiel the spiel with her i could just say what I said and it was quick and easy and she just is like no problem and I picked the machine closest to either the bathroom or the front of the place I'm trying not to get too caught up on that though because I don't want to freak out if I have to pick a machine in the middle I'm gonna try to keep the machine that I have but I'm gonna be open to the idea of switching up if I have to and having tools from going into therapy of safe space tools where you just say to yourself your safe space and you imagine it and you picture it I was just doing the motions of the exercises when I had a little bit of a panic come on and I was like I'm in safe space I'm in my happy place I'm in my safe space and I just kept saying to myself over and over what my therapist has taught me what EMDR what work we've done and I went right back into being present and was able to continue on with my exercises and everything was fine and that was the first day so once I got past that hurdle it was easy going into class from there moving forward so it's almost like you just got to get that one out of the way but if you're anxious pick a place that has smaller classes it might make the classes is a little bit more expensive I feel like it's a little pricey but I do realize it's probably because there's a limit of how many people they could take per class so it's 40 bucks for a class around here in Washington State where I'm going I'm not sure where other people live is that if it if that's the price or not but they had a beginner's deal where you got it for 50% off for a few classes to try and so my first three classes were a lot more affordable than that and then there's also deals where you can buy a bundle and it's cheaper so you save and that's the route I'm going to start going it's just doing a bundle and maybe eventually I'll just do the monthly sign up but for now um, I'm just kind of seeing how I can if I can stick with this <laughs> that's the main thing is sticking with it they say to go to class two to four times a week if you want to get results three to four I would say more so and I'm doing the two but I can't commit to more than two I just my schedule is too crazy and um, there's no way that I would be able to consistently be able to do more than two it's already for me like rearranging some things to be able to go twice a week I'm not gonna get up at 4 a.m. to go work out I'm just not and I know that people do that and I applaud you way to go that sounds crazy to me so I'm gonna get up at a reasonable hour and go some maybe in the afternoon maybe I'll do an evening class if I need to fit it in and I just really want to make sure I'm like going I don't really have a specific time I'm sticking to or a specific day that I'm sticking to because my schedule is too crazy but if you can that's great you know like stick to a couple days spread them out so that way you feel like you're getting in early in the week later in the week and just try to keep it going in rotation I think one class is an accomplishment a week so if you can do one that's wonderful and then try to wear your apple watch if you have one and stay up with you know your exercises and getting in your fitness and keep moving because it's all about 
good health. And for me, I'm working out for mental health. That's number one for me is mental health and also feeling fit and strong. Um, so just whatever you gotta do to get yourself happy and healthy right okay that's it i just wanted to say those things about pilates and no more flabby flubby putty buddy body <laughs> flabby flubby putty body <laughs> no more of that we are going to get ourselves feeling good and strong please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please subscribe if you aren't and stick around we've got all sorts of fun crazy stuff going on all the time from week to week. You never know. And I'll see you guys on the coming vlog. Bye.